The SOLIDWORKS animation user interface is the exact same as your SOLIDWORKS user interface, except for this one new toolbar down at the bottom, the motion manager. So the first thing I might wanna take a look at within my motion manager here is over on the left-hand side, just the type of motion study that I'm currently in. So if I hit this drop down here, I can see animation as well as basic motion. If you have a simulation license, you might see another option here called motion analysis. So in this course, we're gonna focus on animations and touch briefly on some basic motion as well. The animation study type is useful for creating animation or motion that does not require accounting for say mass or gravity. Whereas basic motion studies on the other hand, generate approximate simulations of motion that can account for mass, collisions, gravity, and so on. So taking a look through my motion manager here, the first thing we may notice is we have essentially our assembly tree here. So that's just gonna show all of the parts or components within your assembly project. And each of those have a number of these little diamond shapes, which we call keys. And those keys hold the information of a specific part at a specific time. And we can change location with these keys. We can change appearance or color. We also have these horizontal bars if there's ever a change between, say, a location. And so if I just play through, I have a number of playback commands, play, pause, stop, and so on. And I can see a very, very basic animation. I also have a time bar. So instead of playing through my entire animation, I can just click and drag this time bar here and kind of move point by point throughout my animation. So in this case, looks like I just have a four second animation on my timeline here. And from zero to two seconds, looks like not much is changing. And then from two to four seconds, it looks like I have some change occurring on my gear. And that change is just kind of a explode or a change in the location of that specific gear component. I have the playback speed. So I can just hit the drop down here and change if I want to make my animation play slower or faster. I have some playback options. So if I want to play just once or a loop, for example, uh, I also have the ability to save my animations. So I can save these as a AVI, as an example, once I'm finished with my animation projects and a number of other commands that we'll be learning throughout this course.